Hey guys, it's Regant here and in this video I'm gonna show you everything you have to know about the ally. Um, yeah, how you can find him, how you can multiply them and how they work and how you can use them in your world. So let's start. So first of all, where you can find them. Um, yeah, we have the Woodland Mansion as the first option. And there is a website in the internet, I'm gonna link you in the video description, where you will just need your seed. Um, and then you will see all of the Woodland Mansions on the map. So that's a very easy way to find the Woodland Mansions on your map. And if we go in here now, we will have at least one up to two prisons. Uh, let me check real quick. So here we have the prison and yeah. You obviously have to kill the enemies here because I'm in creative, they won't attack me now. But yeah, if you go into the cells here, um, you will see you will have one up and up to three allies per cell here. Here is for example just one. Let's go on to the other ones. Here. Okay, here are two. And by the way, they are wild now, we have to tame them in a second. They already tried to escape. We have one, so four in total and now three again, so we have seven in total. No, eight, sorry. Yeah, but the maximum is uh, three per cell, uh, so 12 in total. Um, so these are wild allies now, and if you give them an item now into their hand, they will get tamed and start following you. Um, yeah, just do this to get them out of here, and do repeat this for everyone, like this. And then if you leave now, they're all gonna f start following you. So yeah, that's it how you can get them out of the woodland mansion. The second option is to find a pillager outpost. For example, I have one here and you, we also have these cages here. You will also find one up to three allies per cage here. Um, yeah, we'll, you, it is possible that they will spawn an iron golem or uh, nothing inside of them. And now we also tame these here, so there we go. And yeah, these are the only two options on how to up, uh, how to get these allies. So I have two allies now here, and how we can multiply them now? Um, or you would probably think how to breed them. We need a jukebox, and then just put any music disc into it. And then add a play, and you will see they will start dancing. And now you just have to give them some amethyst shards, and then they just double. Like, yeah. You can do the, they don't need uh, a partner for that. You can just have a single one and then you can multiply them just by giving them shards and then they are on cooldown, obviously. But um, yeah, and you also have to tame the new ones, obviously. So just go ahead and give them any item into the hand. And then there we go. So yeah, these are on ours now and yeah, you can double them from time to time. So a very simple and nice thing here. So, also very important to know, if you take away their item, let's say this is yours, now your friend could, for example, tame it again. So, they are not permanently bound to you. You can simply just give them to your friends or theoretically also s uh, sell them if you're playing on a roleplay server. That you go ahead and say, oh, you want an ally, I have multiplayer of them and just take all the item out of their hand and then someone else can start taming them. So, why do we need the ally? So he basically just picks up items that you that are dropped in the world in a specific area. I think around th 32 blocks around you. So now you see the allies that have dirt in their hands will pick up the dirt and bring it. Yeah, just drop it to you. They can uh, pick up up to one stack. And yeah, this says for example amethyst charts, but we don't have any here, so he won't pick anything up. But why? For what? Do you need the allies? I'm gonna show this to you in uh, later in the video because there are some very very helpful use cases. Um, yeah, so you can also just take a note block and activate it, and then for the next 30 seconds, the allies will bring all of the items to the note block. Then you can work there with hoppers and stuff and um, everything, so the items will get collected, and in the end, you will have a collecting system by doing that. Um, yeah, in the future I will also do some more videos about some farms with the ally system since it's a very very useful and uh, nice system Yeah, but this is also very important to know mm. that you if uh, you activate a node block for 30 seconds They bring the items to them So you can also use these here and just 
get them and they will start following you. You can also bound them to a fence like this. Um, yeah, just use a leash and yeah, pretty easy. You can also theoretically fly with them if you have them on a leash like this. And now we use a fire rocket. There we go. So now you see they are following us and but it's a little bit buggy. So at some point they will start, um, yeah, start losing the leash. So I wouldn't recommend this strategy. So there are also, are also some rumors that the ally can destroy the skull or deactivate the skull sensor uh, or the skull shrieker. But I've tested it multiple times. It didn't work. If you if you know if this is working, let me know in the comments. But as far as I know, these are just rumors and there's nothing true about that. So yeah, the only thing that will happen if you go into an instant city is that they will die. Um, so why you can what you can use the allies for for example This one has an apple and this one has an oak tree sapling and if we harvest an oak tree now There we go Now the ally will start picking up the saplings I have a higher tick rate now on my server, just so you know. But yeah, normally it's very annoying to always collect the, the saplings and apples or stuff in general that you need. Um, but these will just collect them for you and just, yeah, give them into your inventory or to a note block that you probably have set up already. There we go. And they are pretty quick, so it's per very useful. Um, yeah, you can also pick up the rest, but yeah, the, the saplings are, I think, the most important thing to collect by yourself. So, pretty useful. Uh, yeah. Another use case is here. Um, yeah, we are in, a, in the nether and w gas tears, yeah. We can use the ally to collect our gas tears if we kill a gas like this. Wait, there we go. And now the ally will just pick up the gas tier and bring it to you. Sometimes it's very hard to reach the gas tiers um, since you kill them on a different island or something. So yeah, pretty helpful. And probably the best thing about uh, the ally is, um, and pro probably all of you happened already at one point. Yeah, let's assume you drop on in the ocean and you lose all your stuff or, it, or you just don't find your sword again. So you... You just lost your sword and it's somewhere in the ocean and you can't find it. Then just give your ally an, a sword. Uh, it doesn't have to have the same enha uh, enchantment. And he will just bring you the item. For example, now he is bringing me my swords. Um, so, yeah. You can now just go on the water with the ally, swim around and he will most likely find your weapon again or the gear in general you lost. So, yeah. It would have saved me a few, of, a few strong items in the past. Um, if I would have knew that, but yeah, very very cool if you just go for water adventure Just take an ally with you just in case you lose your stuff and you will not find it again. Yeah, so he will find it for you So that's it with the video. I really hope you liked it If you did make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye